Hello everyone, welcome back to my Rashid Iqbal channel. In this video, we are going to understand a very important electrical protection device called Surge Protection Device, also known as SPD. So in this video, I will explain everything in a very simple way. So that after watching this video, you will have zero doubts about SPD. So before we understand SPD, first we need to know what is Surge. A Surge is a sudden increase in a voltage that lasts for a very short time usually in microseconds or milliseconds as you can see here this is a surge for very short interval of time this surge or over voltage can come from different source like lightning strike either direct or indirect switching operation like turning on or off heavy motors elevators or hvac system fault clearing Fault clearing means when a breaker or fuse disconnect a fault like a short circuit then sudden interruption can create a small voltage spike. This spike is a very short interval but can still travel through the system. The SPD quickly divert this spike to earth keeping the equipment safe. For example, if your normal supply voltage is 230 volts, a surge can suddenly push it to 1000 volts or even more for a very short time. Even though it is short, this extra voltage is enough to burn electronic circuits, damage insulation or even cause fire hazards. Now let's answer the question, why do we need SPD? Earlier, most equipments like fan, motor and heaters were electromechanical and could handle small surges. But nowadays, almost everything we use is electronic like computer, server, LED lights, PLC, smart home device, UPS and so on. Electronic circuits are very sensitive. Even a small surge can burn their microchip instantly. That's why in international standards, SPD are considered mandatory for protection in residential, commercial and industrial installations. So in simple words, circuit breaker protect against overcurrent and SPD protect against over voltage. So what exactly is an SPD? SPD or surge protective device is a device connected in the electrical system that protect equipment from the surges. During normal condition, power flows smoothly through the electrical circuit without any disturbance. SPD remain completely inactive, acting like an open switch. All connected equipment receive a clean and stable voltage supply. But when a surge comes, the SPD immediately detects the sudden rise in voltage and create a safe path to send the extra energy down to the earth. Inside the SPD, there are two main types of protective parts, that is metal oxide varistor called MOV and gas discharge tube called GDT. MOV reacts fast and reduces the voltage, while GDT works like a small spark gap to discharge big surges. Both types are designed to keep the extra voltage away from your equipment. They quickly switch on during the surges and switch off again once things return to normal. This whole action happens in microseconds keeping your equipment safe at all times. Now let's learn about different type of SPDs. There are mainly three types of SPD as per international standards. Type 1 SPD. This is the SPD installed at the main distribution board just after the transformer or incoming supply. It protect against direct lighting searches. These are heavy duty SPD often using spark gap technology. Second one is type 2 SPD. This SPD installed at the sub main distribution board or we can say SMDB or floor DBs. This SPD protects switching surges and indirect lighting surges. This is the most common SPD used in residential and commercial building. It is generally used MOV technology. Now type 3 SPD. This SPD installed near very sensitive equipment like computer, server or control panels. Even after type 1 and type 2 SPD, a very small amount of surges might still remain. So type 3 catches the tiny leftover surges 
and make sure it cannot damage sensitive loads like server room, data center, medical equipment or CCTVs. Now comes the most important part. How do we select the right SPD? There are certain parameters to check. Number one, nominal voltage, UN. This is the rated operating voltage of the electrical system where SPD will installed. UN is typically 230 volt for single phase and 415 volt for three phase. This is same as the system voltage. Now second, maximum continuous operating voltage. You can see on the SPD, this is UC. This is the maximum continuous operating voltage. This is the highest voltage that SPD can continuously handle without activating. In other words, as long as the supply voltage stay below UC rating, the SPD remain inactive and lets power flow normally. It only works when the voltage goes higher than UC rating because it should react only to surge and not during normal operation. This is important because SPD should only react during over voltage or surge, not during normal operation. Suppose your system is 230 volt for single phase, then the SPD's UC rating is always slighter higher than the normal system voltage to avoid false triggering. Here you can see the input voltage is normally 230 volt and SPD has UC rating of 275 volt. At 230 volt, the SPD stays inactive. And even if a quick spike takes the voltage to uh, 260 volt, it still does nothing because this is below its UC limit. But when a sudden surge jumps to 290 volt or higher than the UC rating, then the SPD instantly sends and it diverts the extra energy safely to earth. So remember, SPD only work for extremely fast spikes or surges that last just microseconds or even nanoseconds like uh, lighting strikes or switching surge. It does not protect against slow or continuous over voltage. For that you need over protection voltage relay. So why UC rating is important? If UC rating is too low, SPD may trigger during normal voltage fluctuation or if UC rating is too high then SPD may not protect the equipment because the surge might already damage the devices before SPD react. Now let's see nominal discharge current it is IN. IN is the amount of surge current the SPD can handle repeatedly under standard test condition without losing its effectiveness. Example. If IN rating is 20 kilo ampere, then the SPD can safely handle 20 kilo ampere surge multiple times over its life. This means how robust the SPD is for normal surges like switching operation or small lighting surges. Number four, maximum discharge current I max. I max is the maximum surge current the SPD can handle once during extreme conditions like a direct lightning strike nearby. For example, if IMAX is a 40 kilo ampere, then the SPD can handle a single 40 kilo ampere surge, only single one time. But it may degrade if such surges happen repeatedly. It may damage the SPD. And the number five, voltage production level, that is UP. UP rating is a maximum voltage that appears at SPD output during a surge. This is an important parameter because it shows the maximum voltage the SPD will allow to pass to your equipment during a lighting surge or over voltage. Think of it like a safety gate. If a 10 kV surge comes, SPD reduce it down to much lower level, but it can't bring it zero. So the leftover voltage is called voltage protection level or UP, UP rating. For example, if the data sheet says U, UP rating is 1.3 kV, as you can see here in this SPD, its rating is 1.3 kV. It means your equipment will get maximum 1.3 kV only. Because the surge is very short, most equipment stays safe. But for very sensitive device, 
choose SPD with lower UP rating. If surge is too high and SPD fail, its internal MOV may burn. An indicator will turn red means it must be replaced. One more important thing, SPD must be coordinate with upstream breaker or fuse. For a residential DB, we usually select type 2 SPD with UC rating 275 volt, IMAX rating 40 kilo amp and UP less than 1.5 kilo volt. Suppose we have a commercial building supplied by a transformer. Then at the MDB, we will install type 1 SPD to stop lighting surges direct from the skies. At each SMDB on every floor, we should install type 2 SPD to stop switching surges. And at the server room or CCTV system, we install type 3 SPD to stop residual surges. So this way, the building is fully protected from any type of surge, whether from lighting or switching operation. And the last, the maintenance of SPD. SPD are not maintenance free. They are sacrificial device, means after protecting from many surges, they can become weak or damaged. That's why manufacturer provide a status indicator. Usually green means healthy. SPD is healthy. And if turned into red, it means it's a faulty. So we need to replace this cartridge of SPD. Some advanced SPD also have remote signaling which connect to building management system for alarms. So through this way you can identify which SPD is healthy and which SPD is faulty while sitting in a control room. I hope this video help you understand what an SPD is, how it's work and why it's important for protecting your electrical equipment. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Stay safe and keep your device protected with SPD. Thank you for watching.